Newton's telescope was revolutionary because it used mirrors instead of lenses. This design made it possible to build telescopes capable of collecting faint light without creating instruments that were enormously long and impractical. Refracting instruments were very big, unwieldy. Their color aberration problems were very difficult to overcome. Newton, at a stroke, seemed to have solved all the problems that these scientists had. The Royal Society want to see what else this strange character has to offer. Newton says, yes, I've got something that's been hanging around for a few years by my table. But it's not worth very much, but I do think it's the most important thing that's ever been discovered in science. And he sends this paper to the Royal Society, and it is his famous paper on light and colours. The paper Newton had been keeping secret held the discovery that led him to use mirrors in his telescope instead of lenses. Newton discovered that when you pass light through a lens, it breaks up into its constituent colours. If you pass those colours through a lens again, it doesn't break up any further. Newton then theorised that white light is made up of these constituent colours. Newton's discovery revolutionised the way we think about light and the way we build telescopes. Newton is finally being recognised for his incredible work and begins to open up to the outside world. But then, along comes Robert Hooke. Robert Hooke is, if you like, the star performer in the Royal Society. And he has no reason to think he's never, that he's going to stop being this star performer until in 1672, uh, the Royal Society receives this paper from an obscure uh, mathematics professor in Cambridge. Robert Hooke reads Newton's theory of light and finds that it conflicts with his own understanding of how light works. He writes a scathing review of Newton's paper, which is discussed among the members of the Royal Society. The secretary of the society decides to send word back to Newton, who grows furious. Hook really upsets Newton uh, quite early on in their relationship by the nature of his response. It's, it's pretty negative. Newton had taken a big chance, allowing others to see his work. Now it has backfired, and Hook is about to feel the wrath of Isaac Newton. He sends a 20-page letter back to the Royal Society outlining exactly why Hook is wrong and he is right. Insults fly back and forth until Newton finally snaps. He retreats back into his own world and announces that he will not publish again.